Okay, in this tutorial video we're going to be using the cold saw to cut, uh, I think that's one inch square tubing. Uh, let's give it a shot. First, safety first. You have to put on your safety goggles and you should always wear gloves as long as you're working on a piece of equipment that can't grab the glove and pull you in with it. In this case with a saw uh, we're gonna be just fine. So I've got my material here and I've got a roller set up in front of the machine. First let's configure the machine. I'm gonna loosen the locking arm pull the pin out and rotate it because we're not going to be cutting a 45 we're going to be cutting a straight 90 degree angle to the length of the material and we'll lock it back in place and loosen the grips now one of the grips has been removed so I'm going to replace it got a bolt and a nut. This will allow the machine to grip the material when cutting. Uh, go ahead and move these in as far as possible. The outside one as well. Get in there with the Allen wrench. We've got our grips lightened up and tightened. We've got the machine at a proper height. Let's feed in our material. Now, we're going to be cutting 15 inch sections. Oh, excuse me, actually. We're going to be cutting 16 inch sections. Let's so have a tape measure here. And we're going to bring the saw blade down so it touches the material. Slowly coming down. Well, actually, let me stop it there as we haven't yet clamped our material in. Make sure we got a lot of got about 11 feet hanging off here. So we'll make sure that our guide and everything is lined up so we stay even. Okay, that looks about good. So what I'm going to do is measure out 15 inches. Wow, let me loosen this. All right. Put my gloves back on. All right. So we're going to measure out 15 inches from the blade. Actually, 16. All right. right there. Boom. That's 16 inches. I'm going to clamp the material. You're taking off? All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So you're going to clamp the material at 16 inches. I'll get the alarm, you guys, if you want to go out that door. Okay. What's that? There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here. Yeah, have a good night. Okay. Uh, so now I've measured out 16 inches from the machine. I'm going to clamp a guide that stays on the machine at the 16 inch mark. So that after I make this cut, I can just feed the material back into the machine and not have to measure after every piece. Because I'm gonna be making eight of these 16 inch uh, pieces of one inch diameter square tubing. 
think it's about uh, one eighth wall. Actually, it might be a little thicker than that. It is thicker than that. Okay, so I've clamped my material. Now I'm ready to turn on the blade. Okay, as you can see, the lubricant is flowing down the side of the blade here, uh, thus cooling any of the cuts we make. So I'm gonna descend the blade with the foot pedal down here. Oh, looks like we've maxed out on how low. The last person to use this machine had it set to descend only a certain amount of depth. So I'm gonna reset that right here. There's an adjustment on the back. Yes, right here. So now, the machine should descend all the way into my material. So once again, I'll start descending the machine and the blade will come down. Okay, now the blade's pretty close to my material. Make sure I'm clamped tight again. And actually I'm gonna loosen that up, raise my blade one more time. You can never measure enough, really. Measure twice, cut once, because you don't want to make a mistake. And you want to go slow so you don't end up hurting yourself on a piece of equipment like this. Okay. That machine's in the upwards position. I've reclamped my material and I'm starting the saw. Now I'll descend the blade. And I will adjust the hydraulic valve that, depending on how loose or how open the valve is, the faster that the blade will descend. So you don't want it too fast, you want to go slow, especially when you're working with steel. About that speed. Now the blade is doing all the work. It's uh, descending at a slow pace and rotating at low speed and the lubrication is uh, flowing and coating the saw blade thus keeping my material cool and prolonging the life of the uh, blades on the saw. So we'll let this cut through. Okay, I've, we're almost about through on the first piece. And there, we're all the way through. So I'm gonna go hit the foot pedal. Just gonna raise our saw and I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, now we can loosen our clamp here. And we have our, drain that lubrication off. We have our 16 inch piece. Perfect. Go set that aside. And we're gonna feed our material in all the way to the guide. Reclamp the material. Make sure it's level. And same uh, process as before. We're going to start our saw and engage foot pedal to lower the saw. We'll do that uh, to complete all eight of our pieces and then uh, we'll be finished with this tutorial at least. Uh, 
I'll just go ahead and let you guys uh, know. Tune in next time where we'll be using the uh, lathe mill and possibly the CNC mill uh, over there. Thanks again.